So I finally saw Men, the newest Alex Garland film, and though it did come out earlier this year, I had heard rumblings both positive and negative about the film, and it really upped my curiosity to finally see it for myself, and I'm glad I did. See, once a film becomes as polarizing as Men has, it gets easy to get sucked into the argumentative discourse of either side hailing it a masterpiece or a complete piece of shit. What I see is a lot of complaints that the film wears its message on its sleeve, and that message is one that is provoking and seems to be pushing a lot of people's buttons and those are the best kinds of films in my opinion. Maybe it isn't as nuanced as it could be if you know where to look but that message is wrapped inside an enigma of stylized surreality of the most breathtaking visual storytelling I have seen in a long time which casts a spell of a trance within me that I have nothing but high praise for Alex Garland and his film Men. So what is the film about? After dealing with some immense trauma that ended with the death of her ex-husband, a woman played by Jessie Buckley goes on a vacation in the English countryside to heal from said trauma, only to witness an onslaught of endless harassment and abuse. And that is the simple version of the complex puzzle that the film presents so beautifully, and I will not be giving any spoilers here because I want to both review this film as well as not giving anything away. Though it may not be coy what it's trying to say, it does present its story and messages in a very visual, beautiful experience experimental way. Now when a film tends to laud or when people laud a film as being too preachy and ham-fisted with its messaging, that tends to turn me off from it completely. But what Men does is just so insane, so maddening, the way it is delivered visually is so astonishing that I was even second-guessing a lot of the messages the film was presenting. Some of it is very uncomfortable and disturbing and I can see why many are finding it offensive. It is challenging and disturbing. It is surreal art house horror at its best. That seems to be the mixed genre or companies like A24 likes churning out these days, but Men does it with such elegance. I found the whole experience seemed to be a welcoming discomfort, and that is one of the number one things I look for in a film these days. It is filled with many quiet, ominous moments with an underlying gruesomeness under the surface. It is the way the film is styled and how it reveals information and builds tension that makes it such a unique experience for me. Alex Garland does a great job at presenting these ideas in an insane style that goes further and further off the rails in a good way as the film moves along. Long. Jesse Buckley absolutely carries the massive intense weight of this film on her back. I loved her in I'm Thinking of Ending Things and this proves that she is an actress worth seeking out because she does amazing stellar work. Also the multiple performances of Rory Kinnear is something astonishing and should be recognized by all the awards but probably won't because taking on multiple roles is something the Academy doesn't really seem to notice but he disappears into every single one and it is something that has to be said about men. The cinematography, what, what can I say about cinematography? It's just mind blowingly sharp and precise. The color palette presented here is so beautiful it is beyond words, but I'll say it anyway, Man has quite possibly the best visuals and shot composition I have seen all year. The score adds an unsettling vibe, presenting an ongoing threat of danger, complemented by the stunning visuals and how music is incorporated into the film is so beautifully done. Though this film isn't without fault, I did find some of the CGI to be a little too noticeable. Granted, this film probably doesn't have the highest budget and some of it was a little distracting, I will say. That's really the only criticism I have. I feel a lot of the critical response to this film is a sign that good art provokes discussion and emotions people may not be ready to deal with. And the film is also a great way to shine a light and cast a reflection to those uncomfortable feelings people may have. A lot of criticism comes from the ending and it is bizarre in such a great way in my opinion. Without spoiling spoiling too much, characters morph into something that is a bigger idea of what the film represents, and that is the never-ending cycle of abuse. Some are downright trashing this film because of this, and that really saddens me, because I think what this film is offering, which a lot of other films don't, is quite a unique experience. And that is why I'm going to rate Men 4 out of 5 stars. Its insanity is only outmatched by its horrifying visuals and content, and it is a film that should not be forgotten and cherished just as much as Garland's other film, Ex Machina. My main takeaway without spoiling anything is abuse, in particular the abuse of men is a never-ending cycle. The whole film presents an allegory of abuse and abusive dynamics and is so heartbreaking and tragic in such a beautiful way. But anyways, that is my take on men. Now what did you think of men? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Uh, what is your adverse knee-jerk reaction to it? I really want to know down there in the comments below and please like and subscribe if you'd be so kind. My name is George Ray. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Please remember to keep calm, keep cool, keep chill, embrace great cinema. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, peace out.